quick video on how to set up a EtherCAT SIG 350 from SIC um, with a Omron Systemac PLC, so NJNX. Um, so first what we'll do is we'll take the glass cover off and we'll set our node. Um, the, say the Ethernet IP version, you would be setting the last octet or trying to um, put a IP address to the SIG 350. But with the EtherCAT version, we're just going to set the node. And I've got this already set to node 2. So I'll put that cover back on there. And I'll connect it to, um, I have a NJ101-9000. And I'll just connect it to the Ethernet, EtherCAT port. So now that we've got it connected, um, I'll go ahead and connect to my PLC over USB. And while the program is loading up, I'll go ahead and go to sick.com and get my ES file, ESI file. SIG 350. I'll select the variant that I'm looking for is the EtherCAT. So this one here. And I can go to downloads. And I can download the ESI file. Once I've downloaded the ESI file, I need to go ahead and extract it. And I'll go back to Sysmac Studio. And I'll go to my EtherCAT. So first what I need to do is I need to go to my ESI library. I need to install that file. I can scroll down and see I have the SIG 350 ESI file installed. So I'll open back up the EtherCAT. I'll go online with the PLC. And then I'll compare and merge the actual network. Now, this is what my network currently is. But now this is a new configuration. I'll just apply that. And then I'll close out. <clears throat> now I'll go into and I'll start to edit this module. Again, I'll go offline. And now I can go here and I can start to see which, um, how I want to set up the port. Do I want one byte of outputs? Um, four bytes outputs or inputs. Right now I'm just going to be going for inputs. So I'll put um, 16 bytes um, of process data into that one. And then the rest of them I'll just put two bytes of data of input. Now that goes away. And now I can come over here to I.O. Mapping. You can see that I've got the um, SIG 350 um, connected over EtherCAT. And now I'll just name all my variables. After that's complete, I'll go online. And I'll synchronize. And 
I'll transfer to controller. Once it's done transferring, everything looks good. Right now I have no data because I have nothing plugged in. Once I plug the MPB TNE in, I still start seeing data come through here. And there's the data coming over the MPB 10 that I just plugged into the SIG 350. And after that, then we can go into our global variables and start to map everything and byte swap. So, hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.